Hey, this is the Nord Drum and today we are going to do a mini review and first impressions. But first I want to remind you that I really do need your viewer mail. Please send me questions, comments, feedback or some stories that you want to share and we'll do a Q&A video coming up really soon on the channel. I think you'll enjoy it. Also do remember I have a Facebook page nowadays so go ahead and check that out if you want to see what I'm doing right now or if you have anything that you want to share with me. Okay let's get on with the review. So what exactly do we have here then? Well it's the Nord Drum 2 which in this case comes in two parts. We have a brain up here that generates the sounds of the, of the various drums and down here is a Nord pad which is actually an optional accessory for this Nord drum up here as well. And also we have a very solid Roland pad stand here and connected down below on a short cable I've got a bass drum pedal as well for triggering one of these pads. Let's pop that down there again. Now then, just in case you don't know very much about this unit then, well this is by Nord who also do the Nord Stage, the Nord Lead, the Nord Electro, some of my favourite keyboards ever. So this is really fun to try out their Nord Drum unit which is a bit of a quirky concept. It'll be uh, very interesting to do a demonstration for you today. Now don't expect to hear any realistic drum sounds from this drum module up here. It doesn't do sampled kick drums, cymbals, snares and stuff. No, not at all. This one uses Nord's virtual analog sound engine to generate quite interesting analog drum machine kind of sounds. Nothing that's at all realistic. Although it might be realistic to some old vintage drum machines like a TR-808 or a TR-909 but don't expect this to sound like any kind of real drum kit. So this thing can produce six different drum tones and they are obviously mapped to these six different pads. And the first pad here is also the same sound that you get by pressing the kick pedal that's attached to the brain. So in this case I've just selected a random kit and we have on this pad We have on this pad, nice velocity sensitive there. As you can hear when I stamp on the bass pedal, we get the same sound. Now immediately when I powered this thing on, plugged in my headphones and started playing, I ran into a problem and I'm sure you're hearing the same thing right now. Thing is, when I'm listening on headphones, even with the maximum volume, I hear more of my stick noise than I hear of the actual drum noise. So when I'm, let's choose a different kit for... So when I'm playing away... very badly played. Uh, anyway, what I'm trying to demonstrate is you're going to hear an awful lot of clicking and smacking from the drumsticks instead of the sound of the unit. And this is even when you got this one pushed up to the maximum volume. And what I've done for a lot of my demos is record it onto the computer here. Let's do that right away now. I'll record the track at the same time. So when I'm demonstrating this to you, most of the time I'm going to be having this microphone muted so you're not going to hear anything that's coming from the drumsticks or me smashing the floor with my foot or anything like that. You're only going to hear the sound that's coming from the left and right output of the drum going into the sound card of my PC and being recorded here on the screen as you may or may not be able to see. So let's do uh, a couple more drumming sounds and I will reduce the sound of my microphone until you're only hearing the sound of the drums. So yeah this time as you can see I captured the waveform of the drums here. 
So you'll be able to hear those in all their glory without the sound of the sticks. But I think that's something that you should bear in mind. If you think you're just going to be able to put on a pair of headphones and jam away and really get into the sound of the drums, then you're sadly mistaken because you're going to be finding that the sound of the sticks hitting the pads is a lot noisier than what the headphone is giving you, even at the maximum volume. I think Nord need to improve the gain of the headphone output a little bit so you can get a little bit more volume and thereby drown out the sound of the pads and the sticks. And I have tried with several different pairs of headphones as well, but I had the same problem with them all. And even now in my room, when I've got it connected to the speakers as well, it's you have to really crank the sound of the speakers to drown out the sound of the pads. So I just had a brilliant idea. For the rest of this demonstration, I'm going to disconnect the Nord drum from the pads, and I'm going to connect it via MIDI to the Korg M1 that we have behind here, and then I'm just going to use the M1 to trigger the sounds of the Nord drum so that we don't have to deal with this very loud, clicky, sticky noise when I'm editing the video. I think, I think it'll be a big improvement. The other thing, I've only got two hands, two sticks, and one foot but I have many more fingers and thumbs, so I think my finger drumming is gonna be actually a lot better than my stick drumming. So let's do that right now. One more thing occurred to me. I noticed that the firmware on this is not the latest version. So whilst we have it connected up with MIDI, let's use the computer to update it to version three, which is the latest current version. Also, we'll reset all the drum kits to the factory presets. Oh my gosh, what you didn't see there was that it took me one hour, yes, one hour to connect the M1 to the Nord Drum 2 via MIDI and get them to talk to each other. This is insane! Three problems I had. The first thing is that I assumed that the uh, MIDI out would not be on the middle of the three jacks on the back of the M1, so I had it connected to the through for a little while. Obviously, that isn't going to work. Figured that out. Uh, then we had a MIDI cable that was broken. Huh? That sucks. I replaced that, and eventually we got them talking to each other. But the third problem was that the MIDI settings on this Nord drum are incredibly complicated. There are global MIDI channels that you need to set, and there are normal MIDI channels that you need to set, and then you need to assign which notes uh, trigger the various sounds. Oh, it was tricky, but I think in the end, the setting that I got to make everything work was that global had to be on channel one and the other MIDI channel had to be set to off. Uh, I was also getting a situation where the bass drum was playing on every single key and overlapping with the other sounds. Oh, it was horrible. An hour have passed and this thing nearly went out the window, I can tell you. Uh, but anyway, now we're in business, let's do the firmware upgrade.
I'm back and that has been a complete nightmare. That took about three hours and now it's very, very late. For two hours of that process, this machine was completely bricked, totally unusable. And uh, I was pretty convinced I was gonna have to call Clavia on Nord on Monday morning and uh, send this in for repair. But luckily I figured it out. Thankfully I had an extra USB to MIDI interface knocking around because it seems like the one that was in my computer wasn't working. Every time I tried to do the firmware update, it was getting halfway through and then this thing was just freezing. And I've got a very standard M Audio uh, MIDI interface on my PC here. I'm actually very pissed off that Nord chose not to have a USB interface on this thing, but just to use MIDI. It means I have to hunt around the house for MIDI cables, which nobody really uses so much anymore. You have to have two, MIDI out to MIDI in, MIDI in to MIDI out. Uh, obviously, most people's laptops don't even have MIDI interfaces, so you'll need some kind of external MIDI interface. What a pain. Why not just have USB? I've got hundreds of USB cords lying around and, oh, it would have just worked. Oh, oh. You saw the video, but what a frustrating time that has been. And we're going to have to wrap the video up here because I have no more desire to play around with this thing anymore. I'm pretty <laughs> pissed off. Uh, okay. Um, anyway, I will wrap up with some final thoughts. Uh, this is a first impression review. I have used this for about four hours in total now. Um, although I'm not in the best of moods, I would anyway like to give you my very first opinions on the Nord Drum. Okay, so I have some notes. Uh, obviously, the, the first thing has been the struggle. Uh, this is only a couple of years old, this instrument. Why ha have Nord not put a USB interface on it? All their other keyboards and stuff have USB interfaces. It's been a huge frustration. Actually, the first really bad experience I've had with gear since I started my channel and probably for a couple of years. And this is a real Nord fanboy speaking here. I love their stuff, but this has been a total frustration. I quickly discovered that playing with the drumsticks and the pads was not a very satisfactory experience for me because the sound of the drumsticks hitting the pads leaked through my headphones too much and I couldn't hear the sound of the unit very well. So I think Nord maybe need to boost the level of the headphone output a little bit there. But I guess this is a problem to many pad-based drum systems. Believe it or not, this thing has no on-off switch. You just plug in the AC adapter, which is a very cheap, unbranded little thing, and then the thing powers on. That seems a bit strange for a drum module costing uh, four or five hundred dollars. Another thing I noticed is that the pads themselves will only work with a Nord drum. You can't use these as a MIDI controller to control sounds on your PC or anything like that. You can do it through the Nord drum unit, but you have to have both of them connected and powered up. I would have liked to have seen these being a sort of more generic standard with perhaps a MIDI output so you could plug it straight into the PC or even better, a USB output. So if you're not using the pads, then this is just a little standalone unit. You can connect headphones and trigger a drum sound using one button here. It's a little bit tedious. You have to switch through the different sounds, the six of them with this one, and then press this button to audition the sound. and. This isn't velocity sensitive, so you don't really get a very good representation of the sound that you're editing. I would like to see Clavier putting six little buttons here for each of the sounds and make them velocity sensitive as well. Perhaps very small rubber pads. That would have been quite nice, I think. While we're on the subject, perhaps a small sequencer built into this would have been quite nice. Just a little simple pattern sequencer so that I can quickly create drum beats on the fly without having to connect this to my sequencer on the PC or to this iPad app that they have. We need to check this out. But again, uh, how do I connect my iPad to this? My iPad doesn't have any MIDI output, so I guess I need some camera connection kit or something. It all seems a little bit old fashioned. Come on guys, put Wi-Fi on this or something. Another disappointment is there's no effects on this at all. There is some kind of repeat note function, but you would expect on an instrument this price to get some kind of at least reverb on some of the drum sounds. That would have really improved the sound of this thing, I think, a nice stereo reverb. Nord are well known for having front panels that have lots of knobs and controls, so you can easily adjust the sound in real time. This thing, not so much. It's really weird. I have to select first a row of 
parameters with this button and then I press the parameter with one of these but there's still two parameters assigned to this button so with the shift button I can choose one of the underneath ones and then I twist this one single knob to adjust the value and this doesn't really encourage me to do any real-time tweaking of the sounds whilst I'm playing it's pretty abysmal actually so that's a kind of disappointment I would have liked to have seen a PC editor for this thing since it has such a limited user interface but as far as I know there is nothing, just this iPad app. So let's wrap up this video on a positive note. I do love the sounds on this thing. I think this, the six sounds is about the right number. You don't really need any more and you wouldn't want any less, that's for sure and they do sound fantastic. I will be doing a demo video where I'll do some finger drumming on this one so you can really get a feel for some of the sounds. And hopefully you've enjoyed some of my drumming <laughs> demonstrations that I've done during the course of this video. So it sounds fantastic. I can see myself keeping this part of it, the brain, and just using it as a drum module when I'm sequencing or, or playing something on the keyboards. I think it's a very compact, lightweight, extremely well built, as always from Nord, little unit. This one I might keep. But all the accessories, we have the drum pedal over there somewhere, the stand, the pads, maybe not really for me. I found it to be a little bit gimmicky. Why not just trigger it from the keyboard or from your computer software? So I can see myself keeping this and selling all the rest of it. So yeah, there we go, my first impressions of this unit. Expect to see a lot more stuff on my channel soon about this. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I'll see you again next time. Ta-da.